Now let's solve problem 29, which appears also in page 92 in Siegel's Biochemical Calculations. It's another one of mixing. And this time we're asking what are the final hydrogen ion concentration and the pH of a solution obtained by mixing 200 milliliters of 0.4 aqueous ammonium with 300 milliliters, 0.4 molar, ammonium in solution, with 300 milliliters of 0.2 molar HCl. And it gives the Kb 1.8 10 to the power of minus 5 for ammonia. All right, so let's look at the dilution first and see what, what we get in here. Again, the Kb is 1.8 10 to the power of negative 5. Look at the dilution effect. That's the way that we approach this problem. We see first who is next excess and what's going to happen from there. So we start with uh, ammonia, A equals ammonia. And dilution, we use the form M1V1 is equals M2V2. Again, this is a formula that's based on the fact that the, the number of moles doesn't change in a dilution. So first we go there, see in the dilution, then approach the problem as a reaction because there's a reaction place. 0.4 times 200 milliliters give the final molarity, and the final volume is going to be the total volume, that's 200 and 300, so that's 500 milliliters. Then we can get from here M2. And calculating here, that gives 0 0.1.6, 0 0.16 molar. Let's do the same for HCl. Uh, we start with 0 0.2 molar HCl in 300 milliliters. So 0 0.2 times 300, right? 300 milliliters gives Me2 times the final volume again, 200 plus 300, 500 milliliters. So the molarity at the end for HCl is going to be 0.12 molar. All right, folks, so let's look now who is in excess. And obviously, ammonia is in excess, 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.12. However, ammonia, when it reacts with, uh, gives a solution at the end, and the solution at the end is going to be a buffer solution. 0.12 minus 0, uh, 0.16 minus 0 0.12, 0 0.04 would be the total amount of ammonia. However, ammonia, when it generates uh, the reaction, it generates ammonia, it becomes then a buffer, like we show here, ammonia with water, generate H. NH4 plus hydroxide. So in other words, when you neutralize that, if it were a strong base, it would be no such a problem, but it's a weak base, then it's going to generate a buffer. Then you can go and use the Henderson Hausenbach formula. In this case, if you have POH, which is similar to the pH1, or POH is called PKB, plus the log of the 
conjugate ast, that's NH4, divided by the concentration of the base. Okay, it's analogous to the, to the pH formula that we use a lot in henderson Hausebar equation for problems in buffer. Okay, so uh, to do that, we need to know the concentration of ammonia, the concentration of uh, uh, ammonia, and the pKb. We have Kb that was given, 1.8 10 to the power of negative 5. Therefore, we plug in, get to pKb, because the minus log of that number is 4.75. Go oh, now, POH equals 4.75 plus log of the concentration of ammonium. Ammonium is what's generated by the reaction of ammonia with HCl. There was 0.12 HCl, so therefore there's going to be 0.12 ammonium. NH4 uh, plus. Okay. For ammonia, we just calculated that the left over of ammonia was 0 0.04. So let's plug it in here 0 0.04. I'll calculate this thing in here. And finally, gets the pOH directly from there. And once we get the pOH, we can get the pH because we know the relationship of pH and the pOH. So here we give it 5.23. So the pH is going to be 14 minus 5.23, which equals. 8.77. Okay, let me go back and the clarify this issue of the 0.12 here and the concentration of ammonium. All right, so the ammonium came from ammonia that reacted with HCl. Okay, so we knew the concentration of HCl was 0 0.12. So we knew that there was 0 0.12 moles of uh, uh, protons available to react with ammonia and to form ammonium. All right, so we start with 0 0.12 of, of H plus. Therefore, we use the app 0 0.12 of ammonia to give 0 0.12 of ammonium. Okay, that's why the concentration of ammonia was 0 0.12, because it came derived from the concentration of HCl available. It's a simple problem, but when there's a weak acid, a weak base in excess, we have to consider that as a buffer problem rather than make it easier when there's a strong acid, a strong base in excess.